fighting. It's, it's pretty cool. My first salmon in Alaska, beautiful salmon. All right, everyone, this is Gary Anderson of Anderson Lodge up here in Alaska and taking us up the Thorn River. And look at that, first cast, beautiful silver. Chrome bright, what a fight. Good fish. It is a good fish. I'm hoping there's a few more in that hole. I think there is. It's time for the Northwest Fishing Reports. Come along as we travel to hidden gems and fishing hotspots around the Northwest. You'll see a little of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters and bring you the latest in tackle, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. With Aaron Borg, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Now, it's time to go fishing. Presented by Gray's Harbor Unders. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Northwest Fishing Reports. We are on an adventure to Alaska going to Anderson Lodge. This is our pilot. Dave Watson, I fly for TAC-1 Air. Dave, you've done this flight a few times before, haven't you? More than once, yeah. More than once, okay. <laughs> well, it's the first time I've ever flown on a float plane. About how long of a flight do we have today? Uh, Thorn Bay is 25 minutes, right, right across the straits right there. All right, cool. So we've had a bit of a flight delay because of the weather, but uh, we're ready to go. So gears loaded up and let's go on an adventure. Put your seatbelt on. It's awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Trip of a dream come true, Alaska. This is pretty neat. So as it's a do-it-yourself type uh, adventure, yep. uh, we're just half an hour drive from Thorn Bay. If that. Access on the Thorn River and you've got species in here year round. Steel ahead in the, in the winter and the spring. And then the trout start coming in, the sea run, Dolly Varden, sea run, Cutthroat. And then after that, the salmon follow through and they keep going all the way through November. As part of the do-it-yourself adventure or self-guided trips, you've got lodging and meals that you prepare and you kind of help guys plan out freshwater, saltwater adventures depending on what time of year they're here. Right. Depending on what species they want to chase and we can customize it to what they want. Right on. Well, this is fun, man. We're going to keep at it. Awesome. It's tips and trips, new techniques and locations to expand your fishing horizons. Hey everybody, it's Rob Holman with Northwest Fishing Reports. I'm here with Chef Billy at Real Obsession Sport Fishing Lodge on the rugged west coast of Vancouver Island. Billy, you're gonna show us a beer battered halibut recipe using Scuttlebutt's 777 Belgian style ale. Is that right? Sounds great. Show me what we got, buddy. Okay. Very simple ingredients here. We got a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. One egg that's been beat. And one tablespoon of salt. And of course now we're gonna add one can for the beer. Room temperature is best. So we'll whisk it all together. This will make fish for between six and eight people. Now, Billy, you've told me that this is really simple, mm -hmm. but there's ways to, to mess it up. Yeah, well, and ways to have a good fish. Yeah, too cold a beer can screw you up as well. And as well, I do a different technique than most. Instead of just dipping the fish straight from the batter into the fryer, instead I use the batter to make panko breadcrumbs stick to it. Okay. Give you a much lighter and crispier finished product. All right. And that's some uh... halibut. I think uh, caught uh, within a couple of days are here for sure. Okay. So you want to give it a dip in the bowl. For this kind of technique, you want to get off any of the extra batter that you have. 
and then into the panko breadcrumbs. Use the side of the bowl to get off the excess there. Into the breadcrumbs. Coat he's, them all up. He's covering and coating all that halibut. You give him a good press. And then from there, into your 350 degree oil. Okay. Okay, so now that we got the fish all nice and breaded, pound it out nice and thin so it'll cook quickly into 375 degree oil. And they're gonna take not very long to cook, probably no more than about three minutes so they're still nice and moist in the middle. Oh wow, that looks good. I see what you mean about the crust too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can't wait to try some of that. It's be good. Wow. It really looks good. You, sir. Thank you. My goodness. You. Oh, thank you. Are you okay, guys? Enjoy. Thank you, Billy. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, and that's Beer Battered Halibut with Chef Billy at Real Obsession Sport Fishing Lodge in Zabalas, BC. Learn more at realobsession.ca. Picking up our self-guided adventure here in Thorn Bay, Alaska. Yesterday we got out on the river for some freshwater coho action. Oh man, I landed a beautiful chrome bright silver. We've got the rain that came in and with it, a lot of silver. So we're hoping today we're gonna go out to, out through Thorn Bay, out to the inner passage. We're gonna be targeting those silvers. This is a self-guided trip. We are gonna have the owners with us though. Yeah, Gary and Victoria Anderson are jumping on board. Can to come out with us for a little bit this morning. They'll be in uh, one in each boat, but this is still a self-guided adventure and this is what you can experience when you come out here to Anderson Lodge. You go out uh, one day as a charter on the big boat and then you get to take your own skiffs out uh, on your own and uh, the waters are calm and there's great fishing to be had. So hop on board with us, let's go fishing. So just a short little 10 minute run from the lodge and we are out on the fishing grounds. There's already a couple boats over there. The boats that uh, are provided by Anderson Lodge have a power Scotty's electric downrigger. We've also got a beautiful knuckle buster rod that we're gonna play around with. Love those rods, love those reels. So today we're gonna run one downrigger. I've got a flasher set up on it with a green hoochie, one of my favorite rigs. And I'm just running a full, a full herring behind it. Gonna feed these coho well today. So we got Rob on the motor steering us. Captain okay. Rob, Mike, that's Cap Captain Rob. <laughs> we got Captain Rob <laughs> steering the boat while I get the lines in the water. That can Mike. That can Mike, yeah, okay, all right, <laughs> whatever, whatever. So, we're early morning, so we're not going to go deep. Maybe run this down to about 40 feet or so. I love getting up first thing in the morning. The anticipation level in my head is like sky high. And we're in paradise. I mean, it's just beautiful. You look around you, there's nothing but spectacular scenery. Just a couple, two, three boats fishing this waters. This is why you come to Alaska, to get away from it all and and just be back in nature. Appreciate, your appreciate what, yeah, fill your soul. You know, just, man, what a place to come. It's just amazing. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Perfect. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, here we oh, go. There we go. There we go, fish on! Oh, look at that! Uh -huh. Woo -hoo. Uh -huh. 
about five minutes. What do you think, Mike? I think I could get used to this. Gary, there's a lot of these coho coming in through the inner passage, isn't there? There's a pile of them, yeah. yeah. Almost every stream in the area has a coho run in it. And they're all wild, no hatcheries. No hatcheries. Look at that chrome. Chrome. He's not done yet, Mike. Get ready. There we go. Good job. I would have swore that was a coho, but that first fish was blackmouth, so uh, we went ahead and safely released him and back in the water he goes. I'm sure we'll get the next one will be a coho. We'll see. But it's my turn. <laughs> there are a lot of blackmouth in this bay here as well, so we're going to be catching them both today. So it's really important to have your fish identification skills down pat. Gary was saying earlier, there's you can find every species on this troll: pinks, sockeye, occasionally chum, kings, and coho. So we might see a little bit of everything. Oh, rod, rod. in behind this point and man did that work out good <laughs> <laughs> Kick them loose. You do what? Kick them loose. Kick them loose, all right. Yeah. Okay. 
Wow, well he was feisty as heck. It's a king. We're gonna release it. Uh, the retention for kings here is a 28 inch minimum. So this guy's probably on the borderline. Hard fighting fish. We're gonna hold out for a bigger one. <laughs> Goes. Look at that. Good job. All right. Bruce at the general store. Do it again. All right. Well hooked, double hooked. I got a fish. So we're, we're trolling in to Thorn Bay. I'm gonna grab some lunch, switch up some things for the afternoon. And Mike, you hooked up something. I did, and it really shallowed up quite a bit here in this little passageway, so I could very well have a bottom fish. I think I do. Yes, I do. That looks like a copper. Yeah, this is a copper. Now there's a whole lot bigger fish than than this. So he's going back. And with that, it's time to go to lunch. Here's one thing that's really cool when you're doing your self-guided day, go out fishing in the morning. It's only a 10 minute run back to the lodge. So come in for lunch, rest for a little bit, head back out for round two. Maybe that's, check our crab pots. If that's right, yep, check the crab pots. Here, you don't have as many in the crab pot, but the ones you have, they're huge. They're keepers. Yeah. They're, they're, and Washington six and a quarter is a keeper. Here it's six and a half. Uh -huh. And we're getting crab that are bigger than the six and a half. And steady, you know, it's, it's a few steady. every time. Yep. And we're checking them every, you know, twice a day, so. Yeah. So. Anyway, it's time to go to lunch. We'll see you on the other side of lunch. Keep watching. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Lodging for today's show provided by Anderson Lodge. Situated on beautiful Thorn Bay, Alaska on Prince of Wales Island, this small Alaskan town has something for every outdoorsman. Incredible views are everywhere. Saltwater fishing will fill your freezer with halibut, salmon, lingcod, or yellow-eye. Fill your soul and your freezer. Learn more about Anderson Lodge Alaska at andersonlodgealaska.com. The routine here is so nice at Thorn Bay. We went out fishing this morning, took a little break, a little siesta. Now we're back, we're pulling pots. We're gonna freshen up our bait. Life moves a little slower in Alaska. That's okay. Hey, hey, so I'll tell you what, the crab that are in this bay, they are big crab. So what we're gonna do is rebait our gear. And we've got a keeper in there. You know, it's interesting, in, in Washington, you bring up a pot full of undersized crabs. Here, we brought up one crab, but it's a beautiful keeper. Six and a half inches is what they need here. We're good by about a quarter inch on this guy. So in the cooler he goes. So when you do the self-guided adventure, you got your own boat, this is all, you do it at your own leisure and pace. Take a few hours break in the middle of the day, come out, check crab pots, go fishing, come back, check crab pots, rinse and repeat. Pretty fun stuff. Coming in like a lamb. So far. Come 
we're on the Clarence Straits outside of Thorn Bay fishing. Just caught a nice pinky here. Uh, boated a silver just a bit ago on a just free floating lead line, no downrigger. The weather's relatively good and uh, it's shaping up to be a really good morning. So fish on. The pinks are in. We're getting steady action. I'm using a gold star with a little pink hoochie and the fish are loving it. Just uh, 40 pulls behind the boat. We're gonna get our rod back in and get some more fish. Here's some of the gear that we've been using on our self-guided trips uh, out into Thorn Bay, catching those silvers and uh, pinks and Chinook. We've got uh, some spinners, which I used with a herring, a whole herring. These are Dutch fork custom lure components. You can see this one in particular, how it's see-through and you can see the beads behind it. They really imparted a great action on the herring. It was very effective. Um, the old standby green hoochie with a green flasher worked really well. And then this guy today was particularly effective for the pinks. We were running the boat at about three miles an hour, uh, about 40 or 50 pulls on the rods behind the boat and um, about six to eight ounces on the weight. If you weren't trolling three, 3.2 miles an hour, you weren't getting bit as much as you could have. We got a lot of action today in particular. So the pinks and the silvers are flooding into the bay now and boy, what a great trip this has been and uh, pretty amazing fishing. Our time's come to an end here at Anderson Lodge in Thorn Bay, Alaska. Gary and Victoria are cleaning up the catch from this morning. You guys provide a variety of options. You do combination packages. If people want to get a hold of you for self-guided, guided charters, or combinations, how do they do that? They can reach us at 907-419-0957. That number's right here. Or AndersonLodgeAlaska.com.